Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm gonna tell you how to use mail merge. Well, for mail merge, uh, you need to have uh, you need to have access to Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. All right. So first of all, we need to have a list of recipients ready with us, like this one. I have made a list. It contains the headers first name middle name last name the job titles the company email address city state postal code country and phone number and these are the names apple tree man mango branch wood production in charge job title would be ceo and such all right we need to have this ready with us and we should be aware where it is saved in our system now once we have done that then we need to open up our, our Microsoft Word file and click on mailing and then click on start mail merge and click on letters if uh, I in my later videos I'll be teaching you how to use mail merge for email messages envelopes labels and directory all right so let's click on letters and it says select recipients so the recipients can be selected type a new list that is one way of doing it or the best way as I said use an existing list so I'll use an existing list it will ask me to tell me where is my list so my list is here M A I L huh? here's my mail merge list so now it gives me this select table it is asking me where is the data in this file it is in sheet 1 2 or 3 it's in sheet 1 which is selected by default and the first row of data contains column headers yes if it doesn't please uncheck it if it contains yes it's always good to have data headers all right so click OK now you are ready to start rock and roll that's that's how we say it lock and load I believe that's the right one so lock and load <laughs> okay so usually let us begin with an address line so we click on address line and these are the options that we see uh, the name nomenclature options if you click any one of these you will see a change happening over here and these are your actual names in your system so if I have it this way or this way or this way I like it better this way no not this one I, I would like to have the complete name yeah so you can see that all this is getting added over here and you can see for option 2 this is your second record this is back to your first record now if you uncheck this the company name you see fruit incorporated it will go away see I check it it comes back and insert postal address only include the country region if different than United States so yes this is different than the United States so it is inserting it I can even have an option here also where I can choose never include it or always include it or only include it and even we can change the company the name of the country mentioned over here and Format address according to the destination, country, region. Yes, good idea. And in case you find that something is not matching exactly, then you can go to match fields option and it will tell you that from which data is it matching from this Excel to this thing. All right. Uh, curtsy title like we have not given any curtsy title. Middle name it is matching from our middle name section in the excel file and last name it is taken from the last name option all right so if if you think it is wrong you can change it from here all right that is how it can be done like i changed last name to first name so let's keep it back to last name so click on okay and click okay so you get the address block then you can give a greeting line greeting line uh see you can have a dear you can have a two and whatever we choose it gets reflected over here you see 
dear and you can choose options from here also if it does not find a corresponding entry uh, a, a corresponding style in your data sheet it will mention greeting line for invalid recipient names would be then dear sir or ma'am or to whom it's ever contain uh, concern or none to whom so to whom it may concern in india usually we say to whomsoever it may concern <coughs> excuse me so let's click on this and dear apple man and you can even choose a comma a semicolon whatever again the match field option is there if you find something is not happening according to you you can reset the fields and click on ok and now you can start typing your letter uh, we can say say welcome to my e lesson dot org yes let's type www also all right and here we go this is done we can even preview the results by clicking here see apple man fruit incorporated one two three apple drive apple vany apple term fruit country dear apple man welcome to my e lesson dot org now you want to finish it all right you can click on finish now edit individual documents that is one option and print documents most probably you would like to print the documents right or you would like to excuse me send to email messages but before printing or before sending it's better to check the documents so to do that it's easier and, uh, done by clicking here edit individual documents and you can select either all or current record or from you can mention the record numbers so let's select all remember we have only two records so it will open up a new file which would be uh, which will be called letters and automatically and here you see the first record here's the second record so you can see if there is any change that you like to do you can do it from here and if there if you find it okay then fine just simply close it and print it or do whatsoever you believe would be the right appropriate action so this is your guru now signing off for the day until the next video have a wonderful day ahead happy learning